What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. So good to have you. Today we have a completely full glaze kiln that we are going to unload. It's right there. Got some sweet stuff. All that stuff's going to be up for sale this weekend. But first I wanted to give you a little update of what we got going on in the studio. Because this time of year is crazy. So yesterday I threw 60 of these coasters and these are all for a custom order for like a corporate client. So I got to finish those today. Uh, and then over here we have another custom order for some mugs. And I don't usually do custom orders, but I do them for friends and family. So a friend of mine owns this company, One Shot Media. They're a real estate photography company. And so for all their clients, they're giving them each a mug. So a Minnesota mug, straight winter wood, straight sides, pretty simple mug, but very elegant and nice. Uh, and then we also have an order for 40 of these custom beer steins, which so this is Iron Tap Beer Club, a local restaurant. So we got to finish all those up before Christmas, as well as getting two more online restocks done. Uh, and the first of which is Friday, Black Friday, November 26th. So let's see the first things we got out of here. I made a bunch of these. This was the March Madness winner from this year. If you're a maker or anybody that makes things and sells things, this is like the Super Bowl of the year. So, all right, let's do it. Let's unload this thing. If this is your first time watching a kill unloading video, I love sharing with you the kill unloadings because it's my favorite part of the pottery process. It's so fun to see what comes out after all that work. So, for example, got a big, not huge, but a medium sized bowl with Northern Lights and the red drip, kind of a spiral going on. A few insanity mugs. So the Insanity mugs have been very popular. They've all sold pretty quickly on the restocks recently. Insanity mugs get fired an extra firing. So they get fired once normally, and then they get fired again upside down, and the bottom is glazed. So it's kind of a unique uh, firing process. It's kind of different. And you get these cool micro crystals going on, and you get the dripping going in the opposite direction since it's fired upside down. So definitely the most unique thing, mo unique firing process that I have. So raspberry mist, Norse blue, carved, faceted, whatever you want to call it. Sweet. So this is like my Northern Lights glaze, but it's with to buttercream. So buttercream is on the base. And I was kind of trying something with this one because I wanted it to show off a little more blue and it didn't really work, but it did drip on the bottom. So I'll be able to grind that off and save it. So basically today, after I unload this kiln, I need to unload this bisque and glaze as much of this as I can to then fill this one again and get that one going so that I can get it done by tomorrow and take pictures of it and then get the pots up on Friday. So today's Monday, so there's just there's a lot going on. But I'll take a break in January. Okay, so here's uh, Northern Lights, a bunch of the red. That turned out, whoo, that turned out sweet, really good. That bowl turned out really good. So those are the Northern Lights with red. This is just the plain Northern Lights, no red. I put that under red underglaze on top of the Northern Lights glaze. That's how I get that red. But these are just bigger spiral. Last restock, I didn't have much many big mugs. So these will be probably 18 to 20 ounce mugs. Sweet. Okay, I have something very interesting and special to show you. So, look at that handle. Cool. So cool. So, normally with my marbled stuff, I don't have a marbled handle. I just usually either glaze it or leave it totally uh, plain clay like that. But for the first time, this is pretty exciting. I made marble ha marbled handles on there. So thanks to Diamond Core Tools, they have a tool where you can just like pull the tool right through, I'll show you. So this was the tool from Diamond Core Tools that I used to make that handle. So there's another one, here's another uh, marbled handle. So basically I had the marbled clay all ready to go and I just took this and dragged it through and then that's what created that handle. So I'll, I'll do another video about that in the future, but so far that turned out really nice. I don't know, what do you think? Marbled with a glazed handle, marbled with a plain white handle, or marbled with a marbled handle. Cool, happy with that. 
Those all have a clear gloss glaze over top too. There's a few, here's like kind of a marbled tumbler, wine tumbler with no clear gloss glaze, just a drippy Norse blue. I put a little flux on there to make it so it just dripped a little bit. Ooh, that's nice too. And then just plain Northern Lights. I love how it like is really dark on the top and then it kind of brightens up in the middle and then it's dark on the bottom again. So it's, those Northern Lights are turning out really good. And here's some more of the marbled with blue inside, blue surf to be exact. Another one, got some marbled on that side, a little more white clay on that side. Those are really, really nice. Turned out really good. They're gonna be pretty sizable too. I think the last few marbled I've had in restocks have been a little smaller. So then here is a, are a couple of the Norse blue on the inside with clear gloss on the outside. Kind of that wine tumbler feel. I say wine, but you can use them for anything. You can use them for coffee if you want. They just don't have a handle, so it might be hot on the outside, but that one turned out good. This one, I like, it like fell over or something, and so then I just kind of put my fingerprints all over it in terms of like, I shaped it weird, so it's all weirdly shaped. I don't think, I'll think I'll just keep that one. Unless somebody comments that they really want me to put that up on the restock, then maybe I will. That's the last one on that shelf, and then we have one more shelf. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cool, those marble handles turned out so good. So there's three more of those. So I have four total of the marbled with marbled handles. I don't know, comment, what do you think? Should I start doing them all like that? It's cool, it's really cool. I don't know what, I'm happy I tried that. This, this is one of my favorite new combos. So this is Muddy Waters on the outside with the blue crystals layered on top and Norse blue on the inside. This is like really a matte finish on the base and then it's glossy on the top, which I love that contrast. Beauty, and then here's that. Wow, that's it turned out sweet. Those all, I think there's like six of those total. Nice, nice, nice faceted March Madness winner right there. A few more of the, okay, so these are clear gloss on the outside, Norse blue on the inside, wine tumbler. We can just call them tumblers. And then here are marbled mugs that have Norse blue kind of dripping over the top. So there's no clear gloss. Ooh, that's cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This kiln load has been so good so far. No dripping, almost no dripping. So one more March Madness, a couple more Muddy Waters, marbled blue. So that's definitely one of the best kilns we've had in a while. I'm gonna count them up because we are very close to what we had last year. 55 pots in it. Our total for the month is 320. Our total for the year right now is three, four, five, seven. Last year our number was 3618. So I think we're gonna beat what we did last year. Definitely, we're definitely gonna beat it. That's it for this kill node. Appreciate you guys. Uh, following along, watching me unload this thing. Hopefully you maybe learned a thing or two. But otherwise, we got two more restocks of the year. Check them out if you need any Christmas presents or you just wanna buy yourself a Christmas present. And we'll see you in the next video.